actually a little too loud. So I'll take it down to 35. Nope. Take it down. So 33. Can you hear it? Can you also hear me? Okay. When we last left off, I had just gone into the machine room. And I had just uh, completed a puzzle. I hope that it still works the way that it did, was, because I read that some little problems can occur if you update the game while you're in the middle of one. So, um, no, there's bugs all over my screen! <laughs> Get off! working nicely. The machinery, machinery needs more work. Okay. Where did it come from? Aha! Uh -huh. ah! Clanky, clanky, clanky! That's what you are! Yo, clanky, clanky! Okay. And I guess by the third one that I- third like little spoke that I needed a third cog, so yeah. It's over here. Nothing? Okay. Oh, please don't tell me that that was Mr. Face. Okay, earlier today I was playing a new game of Amnesia. And when I heard him in the guest room, not the guest room, but uh, the area that I'll tell you after. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. But as I was saying, um, I was in this room, and I, I literally ran into... I need to come back in here after I go into the- I just heard a noise. But, um, I was in the- I was in, like, the guest- It looked like a guest-type room. I don't know. 
But, um, it was after the cave-in. The first cave-in, I think. Yeah. And, um, all of a sudden, um, I hear Mr. Face going around the corner, and I go hide in where the cave-in happened, and all of a sudden I hear him growling, and I see him running towards me, and I'm like, oh my god, this never happened before. So I start running off, and he just disappears. I'm like, okay. But uh, this machine, machine room, machine experiment memo. Note that there are, are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case of all three would crack again. Okay, um, I think I already have one of the rods. Yeah, the flow cycle rod. Flow. Circle. Alright. What do you do? Do I have to do anything? No. Guess not. Hello. About you, do you have anything? Yes, you do. Some lovely little cinder boxes. <sighs> but yeah, I am feeling less, you know, afraid. Since I have taken a small break from playing this game, I can only really imagine what Toby Turner and all those people that have played this game before feel like. Because Toby wasn't ever able to actually wasn't ever actually able to complete playing Amnesia Justine. I actually watched a, a playthrough of it today after I watched, after I played some Amnesia. And the guy actually won. The guy actually, he actually He actually beat Amnesia to scene, so I was actually able to see the ending for it, which made me happy. It's got a a little surprise at the end. I mean, the person that you're hearing speaking through the phonographs, that's Justine herself. But I'm not going to tell anything else besides that. How you doing? Oh, what? What? Where did you come from? All I can say is that that was not there before. Uh uh, no way. to do it sometime. What did I just write? The darkness in the storage room feels strange and unnatural. Right you are, Daniel.
You open up? No, you don't. Mm. Gimme, gimme. Did you guys just hear that? Oh, in the box. Give me. But did you guys just hear that? Did you just hear that? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, Mr. Face, how you make me laugh and you make me cry and make me scream. Oh, I saw something moving up in the corner. I was like, oh my god! Is he in here? I gotta get light on in here. Really? Really? Oh well. Uh, I'm gonna have to stop soon and then I will continue. Hello? Anybody in here that wants to eat my face? No? Well, I'm just gonna go back in here just in case. Alright, well, I will end this part here. And I will see you... Well...